Well, I have another video that uh, talks about how to install Movie Maker, but there's a lot of people who have come back and said they can't find it. So we're going to address that here. We're going to go down to the Windows, right click, and select Control Panel and go to Programs. Okay, and we're going to get into Programs. We're going to go over here and just click on it and double check that it's installed. Now, in order to do that, you just need to scroll down in alphabetical order uh, and you'll come up with Windows Live. So if we scroll down, scroll down, do, 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 and eventually we get down here and there we are, Windows Essential 2012. Now, if you click on it, you'll also see that you can do a uninstall or, or a repair. Don't bother. If it's installed and you can't find it, it's there. It just didn't set up a shortcut for it. So let's go ahead and fix that. So let's go over here to this PC and we'll open up the C drive. And you'll find underneath your C drive in the program files x86, which is uh, sort of your legacy programs there. Let's scroll down until we find Microsoft Live, or excuse me, Windows Live. So we come down here, say Windows Live, click on it, and we see Photo Gallery. And inside of Photo Gallery, you'll find Movie Maker. So let's right click on it. If we right click on it, we can do several things. First one is we can pin it to your start menu. So let's go and see what happens. There it is, Movie Maker. So if we uh, click on it, you'll see Movie Maker runs fine and dandy. So it'll be permanently on your start menu. You can also right click on it. And there's a, by the way, you can take it off your uh, start menu, but pin the taskbar so we'll put it down here. And you notice, boom, there it is. And uh, if you can uh, run it from there. And lastly, we can right click on it and say create shortcut. Now, to warn you, you can't put it inside this program files x86 directory stuff. You want a desktop. And say sure. And there it is. I want to move it and drag it up here. And you can have it on your desktop up here. So there's three different ways. You can have it on your desktop, you can have it on your start menu, or you can have it on your taskbar. So uh, I'm going to do a little cleanup here. I'm going to delete it, right click and say delete from there. I'm going to take it off my taskbar because I don't want it there. So now it's always available to me on my start menu uh, wherever I placed it there. So there you are. There's where to find the movie maker. A little bit of a pain to find, but after that it'll run fine. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. Come on back for Windows 8 and Windows 10 and Windows Phone 8 and Windows 10 and general how-to videos. All here to help you make the most out of your system.